everybody, I'm back. It's Anna, and um, I finally got a phone. But like, yeah, I got my hair cut today. But yeah, I got a phone, and it, the quality is not good. Like to do videos in the house, so now I have to do videos outside every time until I get a camera. But anyways, this video is about how to grow your hair long and how to keep it healthy at the same time. So I have 10 tips for you. One, don't wash your hair every day. Some people are like, oh my gosh, well, uh, if I don't wash, I feel gross. I'm like, my hair feels oily or whatever. I'm like, it's called dry shampoo because if you, dry, if you wash your hair every day, especially with curly hair, uh, you're dehydrating it, you're just messing it up. It's not good, so. But number two is don't brush your hair when it's wet. When it's wet, your hair is like really fragile. And when you brush it, it tears your hair out. So don't do that, okay? And then what you need to wash your hair with is sulfate free shampoo. Like for example, I use macadamia natural oil. It's color safe, paraben free, you know? So, you need to use something good for your hair. Um, don't just choose something because, oh, it's cheap. Well, cheap doesn't always work well. I mean, if your hair is damaged, why don't you get something quality-wise? And number four is use a hair mask. You use a hair mask like, I guess some people use it every other week or, or twice a, or once a month or something like that. You can use it once a week or every other week or however you want to do it but use a mask and the directions are always on there but it will repair your damaged hair um, and number five is use a wooden pin brush let me tell you people don't realize that wood pin wooden pin because plastic pens like plastic regular brushes yank your hair out and you can use that boar brush too there's boar bristle brush but yeah Number six is don't cut your hair like every three months. Some stylists will try to tell you to cut your hair like a lot. Um, I think they say like every three months. That's just so they can make money. I mean, yeah, you don't want to be like, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, yeah, they need to make money, but it's you don't need to cut it every three months. Like you should cut it once a year or twice a year. Like I would do it every six months. Um, sometimes you don't even need that it just really depends if you take care of your hair if you get your hair cut and you take care of it then you don't need your hair cut twice a month you probably need it once I mean not twice a month <laughs> twice a year but you'll probably only need a cut once a year if you start taking care of your hair um, number seven is use a microfiber towel like here's mine it's by Turby see you when you put your hair, flip it over, you put this over it, and then your, you know, your hair is down, so the hair goes in here, and then you fold it, and then twist it, like that, and then you put it through the loop. But you need to use a regular, you know, a good microfiber towel, and also silk pillowcases. Cotton pillowcases cause fraction, not fraction, friction, and your hair is just going to go, whoosh, so that's not good. Um, and don't use elastics with metal pieces in them. See this little metal piece? Look what happens. The metal piece, like, will rip your hair out, especially when you just go and yank it out. Like, don't yank it out. Like, just undo it slowly or carefully, and, and then don't use these. I don't use this anymore, but this is just, I was showing you what I'm talking about with the little metal piece on it. And number nine is to grow your hair and like a good way is to massage your scalp in the shower and then like every day you could just whenever you want flip your head over like on, you're just sitting down somewhere just flip your head upside down and then just massage <laughs> massage and then number 10 is no heat yeah if you want to grow your hair or if you want your hair to be healthy heat is not good blow dryer is not good and Flat irons aren't good. Like, I went six months, five or six months without blow drying and washing. I mean, not washing, without blow drying and um, straightening or whatever. 
and my hair was really healthy. And then once I used heat, it just got really dry. But if you have to use heat and you do want to use heat, I would say try not to use it as much. Maybe use it once a week if you have to. And make sure you use a heat protectant spray. After you shower, you put on the heat protectant spray. And if you want to use a blow dryer, you can use blow dry creams too. So it's, everything's protected. But yeah, this is my video on some tips on how to keep your hair healthy and grow it. So, and there's still a giveaway going on. Um, my big giveaway, my, it's called Huge Giveaway. And you can win this fabulous purse. So I'm going to leave that in the link below. And I'll do another video soon. Whew. I haven't done a video in forever, so I'm just so tired. And i got to get the kids off the bus now in like five minutes. But have a nice day, and thank you guys for watching. If you're trying to grow your hair or if you want healthy hair, give this video a thumbs up, and bye.